once again, here we are. And we are running our Reddit application. Uh, this is a homework that is going to combine a whole lot of what we've been learning this semester in order to create a reasonably real life app that does a lot of the things that, that real apps do and hopefully really gets you the skills that you need to build your own app for your project. That's what you're doing. So we start out and we get 100 posts from r slash awe, uh, which is a particular uh, subreddit. And um, this is what we call the row post view. It's also the home fragment view. And you'll see that we have a particular layout for the posts. And it's nothing fancy, but you know, we, we try not to um, uh, distort the images. And if we uh, click on one of these things, we have what is called this one post view. And it says what subreddit it came from. Why do we need a one post view? Um, that's kind of a good question. Um, you know, a lot of times in the one post view, this is where the comments are, but I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to make it more complicated than it is. So the one post view is kind of, is kind of simple. Uh, and, and, uh, but I don't give you any code or layout for it. I describe how to lay it out, but, uh, that's, that's sort of the, the fun of the one post. So, and that's also a good place to start. I mean, you just want to get something showing up and then uh, I think you want to do one post and, uh, um, that's yeah that, that's where to start so uh let's let's click some of these hearts because we've seen this idea before where we have a favorites list and one thing you're noticing i think is that uh when we you know we'll get rid of this um dog from our favorites list and then see that he's he's out of our favorites list one thing that you'll notice um when we go into the favorites list the favorites icon disappears and when we go into the one post view the favorites icon disappears. That's because we don't want to be able to get to the favorites list from these places. So we just get rid of that option. Um, so yeah, that's the row post view. That is the one post view. And um, there is a, well, there's a search and we're going to get, we're going to get to that later. The last thing is the list of subreddits. And this is the list of subreddits. And it's just, I think the hundred hot uh, subreddits and we'll click on uh, funny. We come back and you see that uh, it's the wrong display, but then it does update. And that's just, you know, it's making uh, um, a uh, network request and we're, we're waiting for it. And so now we're in r slash funny and the title up here changed. Um, and uh, I go into this in the um, write-up, but this sort of recycler view is the same layout for this list of posts as it is for this list of subreddits. And we get to the list of subreddits by clicking this title. And this is the list of subreddits. And this list of subreddits is, it's actually encoded from the server as a list, it looks like a, a, a list of posts. So that's a little confusing because some of the fields that are used are only used in the subreddit list and some of the fields are only used in the post list, but it's also kind of nice because then uh, you just have this one data structure, this sort of Reddit posts that you're always passing around, that, that's kind of cool. And in fact, um, I, you know, I like the idea of passing around a Reddit post so much that we actually pass uh, a Reddit post uh, to the uh, one post fragment. And that's something we're doing in navigation and we've never passed a custom serializable. That's the first complex data structure we've been passing with uh, um, with navigation. So that, that's something to look forward to. Um, so yeah, you know, as we search, uh, uh, highlighted in the cyan is the first, um, occurrence of this substring. And as I, uh, get rid of the letters, you see that it updates and, uh, it goes back to, to normal. It doesn't sort of, you know, change the scroll position. I don't exactly know why that happened. Uh, but that's, that's the way, uh, search works. Oh yeah. I've gotten into search. Okay, well, yeah, let's talk about search. So, uh, so yeah, search um, is incremental. Uh, as I type a letter, it um, uh, restricts the view of the um, 
list two um, entries that have those letters and it highlights them. And you know, this happens also as I, as I go back and we can search in the list of posts. That's the row post view. Let's, uh, let's favorite some of these go into the favorite. And, uh, we also search through the favorite and, and it works exactly the same way, which is sort of convenient and in the code. You'll see that, uh, these two cases are, are if you do things right, are very similar. Um, oh, that's, that's a favorites from, uh, before. Uh, so it dogs, it's not, um, it's not, uh, uh, case sensitive. And you'll see that there is some glide refetching that's happening. There's some um, updates in your uh, adapters uh, that's that's going on that uh, I think by and large, yeah, if, if you do things with mediator live data, that all works out. And you can see the filter list demo for more information on mediator live data. So that's searching in favorites, that's searching in row post, we also have searching in subreddits, uh, you know, and it works exactly the same. It limits, and you know, I can also, oh yeah, and just one detail. I mean, I think you have to click either the picture or the title in subreddit. I specify it, that, that's, not, that's not that important. Um, so, but, oh yeah, the point here is that um, I still have, I still have the, um, search active. Oh yeah. So it didn't, it didn't, um, scroll down to what, uh, matched it. Um, but it did, uh, it did highlight what matched. Yeah. Not exactly sure what's going on with the, the whole scrolling, but we are, we are supposed to filter out, um, elements that don't match. So that, and, um, yeah, so the search and then the only, oh yeah, the only other, the only other, um, Thing to notice, uh, I'm trying to find sort of a clean, clean subreddit. Uh, the only uh, other thing to notice is when we're in one post, uh, we can also do searching. It doesn't filter, uh, but it should update. You can see that happen. So, and and that's that's a little bit tricky. So again, all, all the search stuff I would hold off on until the end, uh, cause it involves mediator live data. It's a little bit more complicated. Okay. Okay. So, uh, cyber trucks. Yeah. Okay. That, that'll age well. So let's see other, um, functionality, uh, that we have, oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. I wanted to show you logcat. And one of the things that I mentioned is, are you making, um, are you going to the, are you going to the network? And you might say, how do I even know that I'm going to the network? Well, you go to Logcat, you look for HTTP. And if you notice when I, let's see, when I click um, these favorites and I go to favorites, nothing's happening here. Okay, I can't, I can't pull down favorites. But if I go back uh, to the subreddit and I pull down, boom, there's a get request. So I went to the network there. So I don't go to the networks. I don't go to the network when I go to favorites. I don't go to the network when I come back. This is a cached list of uh, posts, but I do go to the network when I pull down. I also go to the network when I click the uh, subreddit um, name, because that goes and gets the list of subreddits. It, it gives this whole long sort of rigmarole, so you don't have to look at that. But but uh, I always do fetch, uh, facepalm is not usually the, the cleanest of subreddits. Uh, okay, so, um, I think, I think you get, I think you get the, uh, I think you get the point here. Um, God. Yeah. So anyway, um, so, um, one post view, favorites view, uh, subreddit view, searching. That's really most of the deal. And so you're going to the network, you're keeping your state and your view model. You are doing a lot of live data. You're even doing mediator live data, which is um, sort of compound live data. It's live data that depends on multiple different live data sources. And we're just seeing more complex behavior than we have previously. We have 
back navigation for most of these things, uh, a lot of which sort of just works once you once you hook up the navigation. Um, so there, there you have it. We have our uh, Reddit homework, which I think uh, is really going to set you up well for your project and is a nice way to bring together a lot of the things we've learned in this class in, in an app that, you know, I think looks pretty cool and does something pretty reasonable. Thanks. Bye.